Hi guys, Lisa Edwards of Exclusive Career Coaching here today and I want to talk about a couple of the top 10 leadership derailers. So my last podcast and hey, I put the link to the podcast in the notes if you want to listen to the whole thing. So I gave the top 10 leadership derailers and I want to talk about number five and six today. And the reason I want to talk about them is because they're the ones that I've struggled with the most in the past in my career. And it has to do with avoiding conflict and needing to be liked. So for those of you that want to move into leadership positions, for those of you that maybe just started in a leadership position, really, I cannot say this strongly enough, get over your need to be liked. It's more important that you are respected. And a lot of the other leadership derailers really talk about how you can get that respect. But you do not have to be their friend. You probably won't be their friend. And it's probably not in your best interest or their professional development best interests for you guys to be friends. So get over the need to be liked and understand that conflict is part of the deal. But it doesn't have to get ugly, especially if you take care of it early as soon as it little rears its little ugly head i was so guilty of this earlier in my career i mine wasn't so much about needing to be liked i avoided conflict because i had this notion that they were going to say well here's what you're doing wrong and of course that's the wrong attitude because i had all the focus on me instead of how i could help them so i would put off dealing with sticky issues with my employees so long that it, it went from sort of, you know, a little bump to being this sort of festering wound that was much more difficult to deal with and much more challenging than it had to be. So understand that you are not in the business of leadership to be liked. You're in the business of leadership to be respected. And when you see a problem, you want to take care of it right from jump as soon as it shows its little head before it becomes a really big problem. So those are two of the top 10 leadership derailers that I talk about in this week's podcast. And if you want to listen to the whole thing, look at the notes and get the, uh, get the URL. All right, who's joining me? Ron Fraser. Hey, guy. And Donna is here. Thank you guys for joining me live. And I hope that a whole lot more people listen to this after the fact. I'm only going to be on here for a couple minutes. But top 10 leadership derailers, learn more about them. See you next week.